hey guys hey everyone how are y'all doing out there it's your girl twin d thank you so so much for stopping by the channel thanks to everyone who's always here thank you guys so so much you guys keep me coming back and if i haven't said it well well mm -mm. i have said it or i have said it but if you weren't here to hear when i said it Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, <laughs> and thank you guys for your support throughout this year, the years before, and I'm so, so looking forward to next year, because guys, I, I have some... I have some um, plans for next year. I'm going to change up the channel a bit. I'm going to be doing more coaching sessions for you guys, so you guys can, um, you know, heal faster. Because that's exactly why God sent me here to help you guys to heal faster, to understand the twin flame connection so you can know what to do, when to do it, how to do it, you know. So readings alone, they don't help. They are a major part of the journey because we can't see. So that's why we do this. So we can actually, you know, see what's going on. But the whole thing about this journey is to understand ourselves spiritually and if we don't understand what we are facing what we are going through what we are experiencing then how can we be ready for union i personally do not want to wait for 10 years before union I, I don't i don't even though i'm working on myself even though that's not my end goal right now the union but it's exactly what everybody wants and in order to achieve that union, we've got to work on ourselves. And for most of us, we think that to work on ourselves, it means that we should become more spiritual. But how do you do that? Spirituality doesn't mean that you go meditate or do yoga. It's deeper than that. And that's why your girl is here to help guide you. All the questions you have, everything that you want to know about your divine masculine, Everything you want to know about you, what you're experiencing, what you're going through. Because your girl has been there already. Two, two, two. And that's why God put me in this position. So I know and I understand what you're going through so I can give you the answers. And I've, trust me, I've tried everything that I'm, I'm, I'll be telling you. I've experienced everything you've experienced. I have solved every problem that I well, that I think or know that needed to be solved in order to be at the place where I am right now. And that's exactly where I want you to be. So I'm going to be doing a, a lot more coaching session for you guys. You know, maybe three times a week or so. I'll still be doing your, your readings and I'll still have your, your, your live specials. And I'll still have the podcast so i will be doing these coaching sessions using the podcast as well but i will be doing them on different days all right so make sure you save some of that christmas money so that you can get your coaching coaching session done all right guys and i'll start in the next year all right so let's jump right in important important exciting message now let's see what's on your masculine's mind it's it's a new year coming let's see what they're thinking about our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right Let's see what's going on with our divine masculines. What's on their mind, please, Father God? What's going on with our lovely divine masculines, our sweethearts, our handsome and beautiful masculines? What's going on with them? We know it's hard on them, especially this Christmas season. So what's going on with them? Oh, <laughs> four, three, four. Oh my god, I forgot my head is hurting me. <laughs> oh, I can't scream. <laughs> Your masculines are thinking about love, man. 444. Four, four. That's what's on their mind. So it's like their mind and their heart, their what? Their balance. 
You're thinking about love right now. You're thinking about this love that's pouring over, that's deep within their heart. Oh my God, look on the bottom. What that? What does that look like? A sexy cow, but he's talking about the empress. Oh my lord! <laughs> so your masculines are definitely thinking about you, divine feminines. Like I said, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, and they miss you. They want to be with you. It's a Christmas season. Who doesn't want to be with the one that they love during Christmas? They do, and they're thinking about it. We know it's hard. You know, to get out of situations and we know that, oh my God, even though we want them to be with us so badly, we've got to accept the fact that they have to clear their karma. They have to work on themselves. They have to start to love themselves. They have to get rid of people who are disturbing their life before they come to you. You have to accept that. You have to acknowledge it. Because if you don't, then you don't really love this person. Don't you want them to be free of their bondage? Don't you want them to be free of insecurities? Then if you love them, let them do that. Let them get themselves free. Let them get themselves free. Knight of Swords and the Strength card. Yeah. Yes. So your Divine Masculines here, they're definitely going to be coming out of these negative situations. Eight of Swords. So your Divine Masculines are trapped in their mind a lot. Some of them, they're rushing in with communication. You're going to get a message from this person because they're thinking about you so much. They, they're feeling that love. They want to be by you. So they will communicate with you here. Some of your divine masculines are thinking about moving, you know, changing location, doing something like they've never thought they would have done before. Maybe some of your divine masculines, you know, um, I never thought that I would say that I would come move to be with you. But hey, I'm thinking about that now. Because I know what is important to me. I know who is important to me. I know what true love is now. And I don't want to lose it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rush in. Zero, excuse me. 0707. This person doesn't want to lose you. You have the four of swords. So some of your divine masculine 717. Some of your divine masculines are thinking about healing here. Making sure they're cutting off the things that no longer serve them. Making sure that they are in this energy of pure love. You know, they don't want that heartache. They don't want the sadness that they've always been feeling. So some of your divine masculines, like I said before, six of swords, they are moving, they're changing location. Some may be going on trips, some may be going back home, but this is because they are removing all those toxic people and things from their life. Because before they couldn't even go home, they couldn't even take a break because some of them are working like dogs to take care of um, those karmic people. And they couldn't even go back to wherever, whichever country they come from to spend some time with themselves, to take a vacation, to look after their parents. But they're going to get that energy now. So some of your divine masculines may be withdrawing a bit. You may not hear from them. Right, but it's because they are doing something that they haven't been able to do in their past. You know what? Some of your divine masculines are thinking about the heartbreak that they have been through. So they are looking back at their life like, I can't believe I went through that. I can't believe I allowed someone to do that. I can't believe I allowed this in my life. So they are doing a lot of thinking here. One more please. In regards to what these divine masculines are thinking. You have the two of pentacles. Yes, making that decision. Making that stable decision. What is best for me? What is best for my life? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Yeah, that's it. I love this. I love this um, king even more than the emperor. Because... This king, this king is, it, what's the word? Whatever it is they think of doing, if they think you're walking away from someone, they're going to walk away from that person. If they think they're going to leave their job, they're going to leave that job. If they're thinking about taking a trip, they're going to take that trip. This person is going to be bent on whatever it is. That they want to do. This person, when this person makes up their mind, nobody can change it. You see, that's the ego. 
they, very rare, very rare. And they can see things now more clearly than every and anybody else. They're looking at things from a bird's eye view, a bird's eye perspective. So it's like they're just sitting back and they're just watching everybody. They're just watching everything in their life. Instead of just looking at things because somebody says so or because this is what I'm used to. No, they're taking a break. They're taking a break. The moon. And like I said, they are, they are looking at things from a bird's eye perspective. Where they can see everything. They're just sitting back and they're just watching everybody. How they move, the things they do. They're making a lot of changes, guys. And we look forward to and see it is destined to be. This is fate. This, this period in their life right now, it's fate. It's because that's what's supposed to happen. Like I'm always telling you that, that, that everything changes with the seasons. Everything changes with the season. And one year is, is, is finishing, a new one is about to begin. So there's a brand new beginning that's happening here. I just saw 1101. Your divine masculines are making logical decisions. So they, you may not hear from them for a little while. But, so that means if you have not been hearing from this person, none at all, this may not be your message. But if you've been hearing from them like one time this month, one time next month, then two times this month, whatever, however. But there was some communication here. Little communication, but still some. They may hold back for a little while. And that's because now they're making those decisions that they should have made a long time ago. Well, good for you. So now they're in their emperor energy. All they're thinking about is this infinite love between you and them. You see that? The whip. So your divine masculines are purging right now. They're purging. Removing all their suffering, like I said before. All the conflicts in their life. Get out of my life, you nasty ass people. And they're coming in with communication. So your divine masculine is now looking ahead to the future. They're no longer paying attention to the past. You know how some divine masculines, they may have, they, when you and them met, right? They may have walked away from you to go back to somebody else. That's not the way it's going to be anymore. Your masculines have stopped going back. Whoever these are anyways, I don't know who they are. Could be you or you or you or mine. We don't know until it happens. So these divine masculines are now looking towards the future. They're no longer paying attention to their past. No longer paying attention to their suffering. No longer paying attention to those who caused them to suffer. They're looking towards a bright new future. What else can you tell me? See, you got the house. You got the house. And look, the, the, the poor little... The rich little... Um, <laughs> the rich little owls came out again. So your divine masculines, they're thinking about stability. They're thinking about changing new home, changing their home, maybe going to a new home. And like I was saying, some may be going back to their, their, their homeland because they miss it so much and they didn't have time and, or the chance to do so. So this person is in love and this person is ready for a new start and they're looking forward to that stability. You're looking forward to that stability. Hey, the rider. So this person may definitely be coming to your house. You see that? They may be definitely coming to you. So there is some conversation that you and this person will have here. This person is going to communicate with you. 1414. 14. We got a 41 there. So this person is coming towards you, guys. So you see, tricks, betrayal, the snake. So your person, it's like on their mind is all the suffering that they went through. All the suffering. So some of your divine masculine, 444, 
they're going to tell you everything they've experienced. They're going to communicate with you. They're going to open up their heart to you and tell you all about these deceptions that they have faced. There is definitely four, five, six. There's definitely somebody here who was in their life that was manipulating these divine masculines. And they're over that. See, they're coming back. That's what's in their heart. Coming back towards you with that apology. They loved you from a long time. Me love you a long time. They loved you a long time, but they couldn't say it. Not until they got that strength to walk away from what they thought was stable. But they realized they were just relying on their insecurities. So now that they have the courage to, to, to move forward and not rely on their insecurities anymore. Well, they're coming in for union. So there's a massive change that's going to happen over the new year. This has been your message, guys. Take care of yourselves out there. Don't forget to watch out for the changes on my channel, guys. All right. So I will still have I will still have your um ten dollar sessions on Tuesdays. And I will have your coaching sessions. You would pay on my website as well. And then I will send you the link for the Zoom so you can call in or join and have your girl help you with your situation okay but anyways take care of yourself out there have a wonderful new year love you all keep the faith guys you just gotta focus on you instead of the connection and everything will work out just fine let go and let god love you all later see you in the morrows for your messages from your masculines at least i'm gonna take some more medicine and i'm praying that i'll be 10 times better all right <laughs> so take care guys love you all later